See, another thing that y'all have to understand is that the sun does not rise and set on Christianity. There are many non-Christians that use the Bible and actually believe in it. The Protestant movement did not happen until the early 1500s, and the Bible existed far, far before that. Even when you go back to the origins of what the purpose of a pastor was, they were wizards. The church has always been an institution that was designed to maintain social order. So even though the pastor teaches the general congregation one thing, it is the pastors, the preachers, the elders, the ministers, the deacons, those people in the higher positions in the church that have the real knowledge and that were also practicing something completely different. Like I said in my previous video, Christianity is not a real thing for us. We were forced to accept so-called Christianity as a way to survive, not because we actually believed in Jesus. And now here it is, uh, centuries and decades later, now y'all are having a very hard time distinguishing the acts of a divine power versus the acts of an oppressor. Our ancestors had to stop using the words hoodoo and voodoo and conjuring, obia, all these different words for the point of survival. So when y'all hear those words, they trigger the shit out of you. You automatically put it into the category of it being evil or witchcraft or whatever, simply because you were trained to reject anything that was not Jesus. At the end of the day, you have to want to know the truth. If you don't want to hear it, you're going to find a reason to reject it. If you want to learn about it, seek and you shall find. But don't continue to attack me and attack other spiritualists who know the truth simply because you don't want to hear it. There is far too much information that has been made available to you. And you're trying to shoot the messenger. When you should really be getting mad at these bishops who've been lying to y'all about the history that they already know. It is them that are getting paid to lie to you. Start asking them the questions. The right questions to ask. Stop tolerating foolishness or vague or ambiguous answers. If you're giving them money to their church, they owe you an answer.